chain. At the moment, I'm in San Jose del Cabo, Los Cabos in Baja, California. We arrived in Mexico about two days ago, flew into Mexico City, um, and we had one evening, we pretty much just slept after the flight, and then uh, got straight on a second plane to fly to Baja, California, which is where my partner's sister lives. She has a cafe, Cafe de Lolita, in uh, San Jose del Cabo which is a really, really beautiful cafe. If you're ever in this part of Mexico, you should really check it out. She's a, a really amazing chef. So when we arrived, we took a bus. We tried to take a bus into the sort of town center. We didn't know where to get off. Um, so we ended up at a random Starbucks and she collected us in her truck, took us to the cafe and gave us the most huge amount of food I've ever seen. It was absolutely brilliant. And then because of jet lag, we've kind of been going to sleep quite early, waking up incredibly early. The first night we woke up, I think 4am. This morning we woke up at 5am, so we're gradually getting a little acclimatised. Um, if you can hear a lot of noise in the background, there are some fountains off the balcony down here and some music playing, so that's probably what you can hear.
pero si sí no está muerto, si sí, sí, vivo. Sí, sí, me 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 perfecto. Y sacamos uva y hacen mermelada. Oh no, una buena que me introduzco ya la planta. Yesterday my partner's sister Paola and her husband Paco picked us up uh, sort of late morning and drove us around a few small towns um, in the area which were really gorgeous. We went to Todos Santos where there's a lot of um, galleries and really nice shops. Um, they also took us to El Triunfo which is a really small town where there's a, an abandoned silver mine, an old sort of ruin of a silver mine. We also ate in two different cafes, um, had a look at Paolo and Paco's new house, which we haven't seen. Last time we visited this part of Mexico, they were living in Loreto, which is a small town much further north. Um, so it was really nice to get to see their new place and their three very energetic dogs. We're staying on this resort for another three days, I think. Two and a half, three days. Uh, I'm still quite jet lagged and confused. You can't really swim in the sea uh, on this beach. Um, I'll take the camera down and try and show you some of the waves at some point. But yeah, the waves are huge and it's not safe to swim. But you never know, we might get to a bit of the coast where you can swim at some point. If not, there's a pool here, which I can't wait to try. Republicano, ¿hace cuenta? Republicano. No, si, si te das sus opiniones, luego si da. Flora Farm, which is the, I would, the trendy, it has been like uh, it's this for farm years, to table farm thing, to table. But it's more but it's for very, Americans, very kind American. of a Disneyland thing, I wouldn't recommend.
Saturday today we're still in Los Cabos by the coast um, yesterday Sergio got sick poor guy I feel really bad for him so I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna be able to do today because he still might be feeling unwell but um, it's so stunning here if we have to stay around the hotel I guess we'll do that and just try and enjoy our last day by the beach This one's Nina. Yo soy un artista, soy un empresario. Bueno, la verdad es que no te merece. Ese es tu regreso, ¿no? Y vas a meter ese allá, de serio. ¿Aprieta un poco? No, está bien. ¿No aprieta nada? Sí, está bien, aprieta, pero no. Ajá. Ya ven que en el 2014 nos pegó lo bien. Sí, estuvo gacho. Se puso muy pesado. Nice people on the plane. 